Well, I think it would fit well as a textbook because, uh, first of all, it was written with the idea that it would address uh, not just a group of scholars, though I think there are some scholarly contributions, some uh, definite ideas that I, I hope scholarship will look at, but it was designed with people with broader interests in mind. So I think it would be a suitable textbook for a number of different courses. Uh, traditionally, when things like textual criticism are taught, I think they're taught a little bit awkwardly, perhaps even badly sometimes, because textual criticism consists for the most part of looking at the critical apparatus in a Greek New Testament and then trying to talk uh, about how we determine which of a given reading may be the, the best one. But what I try to do is to open up the idea of textual criticism a bit. I'm very interested in intellectual history. I'm very interested in the history of ideas and how various notions developed and to trace some of the discussion in textual criticism. And so I think it would be a good textbook to use for people to understand a little bit better about what went on uh, in the development of our texts. But also when studying textual criticism, we sometimes neglect to talk about the transmission of the text. And instead, sometimes we talk about issues of canon and often as if they're separate from textual criticism. And so I try to bring these together into one. And so this could also serve as a textbook for people who want to bridge that gap between the text of the New Testament, also its transmission, how it developed into this notion of a canonical text. But then also it addresses uh, the issue of translation. There may even be a place in exegesis courses or New Testament introductions or other kinds of courses that talk about translation and how translation is very important. Uh, not only for scholars, but also for communicating God's word to the church and to, to believers. And it could serve a useful purpose in giving some guidance uh, in the area of translation.